Ooh, would anyone like some pound cake? I'd like some pound cake. What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today we will be unboxing the SH Figure Arts Blanca from Street Fighter V. This is recently released from Tamashii Nations, SH Figure Arts, Bandai, whole bunch of people made this, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited because I really love the SH Figure Arts um, Street Fighter series, and I'm so glad they're continuing it. And I can't wait to open this one because it's Blanca. This character is someone that I've used since Street Fighter 2. He's not my main, but I have used him before. So, enough of me talking. Let's just open him up and let's see what's going on with this figure. Can't wait. If you guys are looking to pick him up, you can get him at www.dstartoys.com. That's right. And check out the DSTAR01 to get 10% off your order, including this figure. We have quite a bit of him in stock. So, if you're looking for him, you can get him there. So continue on with the video, and let's see what is going on with this figure. So excited. Let's open him up as his face and stuff <laughs> fly out. Now, uh, when it comes to this figure, I have other figures that we were going to compare him to, including the Soda Toys, the old school one back in the early 2000s, other SH Figure Arts, and stuff like that. So first things first, let's look at paint in detail, and let's look here real close, and let's look at this beautiful, well, beautiful in my eye in my eyes but ugly face here and this is Blanca's face we even got some nice um, staining there of the teeth let's look real close there that's really nice details and of course his skin has a unique texture as I feel around here it's like kind of like uh, kind of like that of of cloth of clothes but instead we have like almost like a, a scaly skin type thing but not too scaly all I, uh, pretty much what you should take away from the the feel of the skin is that it's nicely textured and which is really cool unlike someone like uh, Mike hot Rio custom here who has like really smooth skin this one is more of a texturized skin and of course we have the orange hair which comes out of everywhere that's also nicely textured We've got a nice matte finish here on the light brown shorts which are tattered up and messed up uh, yeah pretty much this is as close the best Blanca that I've seen so far uh, and let's look at these uh, these shackles here on his ankles these are a little bit too uh, well when it comes to everything you he's really detailed and whatnot but these look a little too clean I have to expected them to be like a little bit dirtied up or something like that but yeah uh, we just get like a bronze finish there so overall when it comes to paint and detail I'd have to say he looks like Blanca now Let's compare him to the old school Blanco of Soda Toys. <laughs> As you can see, these two are totally different. Well, not totally different, but what you can tell by, by the skin color. This one has texturized skin. This one has more of a smooth skin. Much, much darker green on the Soda Toys. This one was released like, what, 2006, 2007? I picked this one up at Comic-Con at Soda Toys booth when they were still around. And also the shorts are really brown, while this one's more of a lighter tone in color. Um, I guess it really depends. This is more of a Street Fighter 2 Blanca, and this is a Street Fighter 5 Blanca. Uh, personally, personally, I do prefer this one. I do like the, the size and, and just the overall sculpt of the SH Figure Arts, but I do like the darker green of the Soda Toys one. I wish this one was a darker green. That would have been much cooler. I do like the darker greens, but uh, I like the sculpt on this one better. So. Also, you can't find the Soda Toys one anymore. So this is your only bet for a Blanca, which isn't bad. I'm, I'm not saying it's bad. Um, I love this figure, actually. This looks really, really, really cool. And uh, yeah, I love the sculpt on this one. And that pretty much covers it for paint and detail. So let's move on and let's go into articulation and scale. So now that we're looking at articulation and scale, let's take out this ruler and let's see how tall he's gonna stand on top of the hair right here. We're looking at six and a half inches and I have my Hot Ryu Custom, which is also an SH Figure Arts. So as you can see, they do scale really well. Blanca is a much bulkier, bulkier, bigger guy in the game. And of course, let's do Soda Toys. Sure, we just looked at that one. Uh, the Soda Toys Blanca is just way bigger for some weird reason. Uh, he should be a scale smaller, but you know what? For the size, it's not that bad. And let's look at other Soda Toys. We have the Soda Toys Vega, 
or uh, yeah, Vega. And that's pretty much that. And let's look if you want a uh, Street Fighter versus or Marvel versus Capcom. We have an SH Figure Arts MCU Captain America, as you can see right there. And everyone's favorite line of action figures, we have Marvel Legends. Scales really well with that too, just because he's much bigger when it comes to uh, other action figures. And sure, why not? I've been using them a lot lately. We have the Build a Figure Thanos, who's been a personal favorite lately. So let's look at articulation. We have an up and down here at the toe. We have a up and down there at the ankle. We do have a nice rocker, which is excellent for posing. Oh man, I always love it when they include a rocker like that. We have the double jointed knee. We got a ball joint there, which also has a swivel, which is kind of like the uh, fighting body standard, which is, has like a triple joint right there. Not really a triple joint, more like a just really flexible joint. And we have awesome ab crunch. Let's look at this ab crunch, whoa. So that's really nice. A lot of figures can't even do this ab crunch. And let's even see like Goku here can't even do a proper like ab crunch that low. That's really nice. Wow, I really like that ab crunch. Whoa, that's really cool. And we have a nice butterfly joint there for the shoulders, which Blanca can hug himself as best as he can, almost, not quite. That's because he has bulging muscles. And that also lends to a kind of like a bicep swivel, but not really because it's on a, a ball joint right there. Of a double jointed elbow right there, ball and peg combination there at the wrist and two at the neck, looking to be well above 25, 25 points of articulation. And let's not forget the hair is also articulated. Wow, that's really nice. So he's super articulated. If you want the absolute most articulated Blanca on the market, this guy might take that prize or that um, trophy. Definitely super articulated Blanca, and he can do all his his classic poses like this from Street Fighter 2, stuff like that. Really, really enjoy this. Now, let's look at the accessories. He doesn't really come with much, to my surprise. We get the Street Fighter 5 uh, um, right here, the, the diorama background type thing, which comes with all Street Fighter figures. Half of me kind of wanted a Street Fighter 2, like the the town or the that um, the shanty town from Street Fighter 2. I wanted that background, but instead we get a Street Fighter 5 because this is Street Fighter 5 Blanca. And that's that right there, as you can see from the top of the camera. And let's look here at the other side of the camera. Actually, I think it's more like this. Yeah, so it should be like that. So that looks really cool. I really love that Street Fighter figures come with that. It adds a lot to the value of the figure. And let's see, uh, oh, we also get a stand for said things. I think this is the, no, no, this is the stand for the electrifying effect, which we will look at in just a bit. But first, let's look at the stuff that you get with him. You don't get much, which is kind of sad. You get this angry face, and you get the closed fist. Um, ooh, I know Blanca doesn't really fight closed fist. Uh, he fights mostly open, open-handed. But you know what I really wanted in a face? Let's see if I can put that up on the screen. When he backs up, I really like that scared face of Blanca. But instead, we don't get that. We only get the angry face. Let's do a quick swap of those fa of said faces. And it looks like it's you just remove that. Ooh, we got a tiny ball joint, ball ball peg there, which goes into the face. Let's see. Okay, so that snaps really easily, and then we should just plug in the hair. And there you have it. Got super angry face. Let's zoom in under that angry face. Looking really sharp, really nice. Again, we had the same texturing as the rest of the body. Not, well, it's more smooth, but it's definitely textured. And that's pretty much it. Let's look at these electrifying effects. Looks like you get Chung Li and Ryu. Unfortunately, I don't have an SH figure as Chung Li. Let's see what else is in here. Just to look. So we get a uh, yeah. So this is the electrifying effect for Ryu. open up oh we don't even have to tear that open and here's the one for Chun Li and I don't have Chun Li so it would be only it would only make sense we would do this for Ryu so he's charging it up there like ah and then Ryu is like oh no electrifying effect and that's what happens when you tap jab or any of the punch buttons really fast so yeah I really like that that's really cool so you get something that, that kind of acts like an effect piece, but more like a, something to display. So let's set this guy up and let's come up with a conclusion. I am so far really enjoying this figure. Let's see. 
Everyone, please stand by. All right, now that we have everything set up here, let's come up with a conclusion for Blanca SH, uh, SH Figure Arts from Street Fighter V. Is he worth the buy? Yes, if you have been collecting Street Fighter figures like I have. I absolutely love the Street Fighter series, and I'm so glad SH Figure Arts are doing these. This is definitely something to add to your collection. Now, if you're looking to upgrade your soda toys, um, Blanca, is it worth getting this one? I'd have to say yes as well. This Blanca honestly is a little bit too big when it comes to scale. I mean, he looks cool. I really like the way he looks, but honestly, I've always thought he was way too big to fit, even for soda toys. So this guy is more of a perfect scale when it comes to 112 scale. He's really, really well done, really detailed. He looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I think the only problem I would have to say is the skin's a little too light green, but I know Street Fighter V lightened up his skin tone, so he's not as dark green, so yeah. Um, how much is he? He's going for around 70 bucks right now. I have him on sale for, I believe, 65 on my website. Just go down there to www.dstartboys.com and you can get him there. Anyway, guys, that's my conclusion. I love him. He's fantastic. I, can't, I love to add him to my collection, and I love everything that comes with him. Oh, also, I believe he should have came with an extra face, maybe some more hands. Honestly, he doesn't really fight uh, closed-handed or any other way, so I really like what he comes with. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.